Mm -mm -mm. So 2.3 with the... So 2.1 mil. One point five without any buffs. Like they never like push or anything. They just like sit back and do nothing. You know? It's like what two point one? They didn't get hit. How much? One point eight. I mean that's decent. Psych with the Twitch Prime, dude. Oh, CK. What is he shooting at? Did I thought that was a teammate. Like, they crit you once and you just mark for death. I could, like, possibly use the drone. No, come on, the free. The 3k, dude. So in today's video, I actually have a PvP build for you guys. So I decided it was finally time to make a one-shot sniper PvP build. The reason I haven't done that is because rifles have been too strong. Time to kill is too fast. So I mean, honestly, sniper builds is not that great though. But since title update 9, I decided it was time to, to actually make one. I will go through what I think is the best way to set up a one-shot sniper build for PvP. And I will also play one conflict match with live commentary. If that sounds interesting, then let's get started. All right, so there's been a lot of people asking me to do a one-shot sniper build and haven't made one in a long time. The main reason being is that the time to kill is just so fast. People are so squishy, so making a one-shot sniper build, it's super easy. But since this patch, they did nerf the rifle or a classic M1A, so I thought, okay, now it could be worth to do it at least. Even though with the nerf, it's not that worth. But of course, they did revert the nerf so it's only lost 20 damage. So it's still like not that not that good with a one-shot sniper build. But I thought I would cover it now. And if they in the future would tune that, you know what to do. And there are some benefits using this. Though. I mean, if you like bolt action snipers, then this is definitely good. So you can set up this a bit different though. But I think this is what I currently prefer. And I will get into why. So something that, at least for the different versions you could do that you need to have, or that I think is the best to have at least, is to go 3-piece Ace of 8. The reason being 15 marksman rifle damage and the 3-piece giving you 20 headshot damage, which is multiplicative. So you get 20 headshot damage and then it multiplies all your headshot damage with 1.2, giving you a shit ton of uh, headshot damage. So my headshot damage right now with this is 292. Which could definitely be higher. For example, if I would use a scope. Like this one, I would gain a lot. Anyway, you could use that scope and that would increase it a lot. But I prefer to not use a, a sniper scope like that. I prefer to use the third person. So I'm going to use a crit chance scope. You could use, if you would like. Especially with model 700, it's worth to use. It could be worth to use optimal range for longer ranges though. But I prefer to use crit chance. Crit chance there as well and weapon damage but with this build that's not needed though because we are focusing on headshot damage headshot damage is gonna be number one and then weapon damage so i'm using a punch rank here and this is definitely not needed but with the version i'm playing right now it makes sense because i'm using the shield here so whenever people come close the idea is to swap to a pistol I currently use Orbit, which is definitely not the best, but it does have some good synergy. Like you get some, uh, you get perfect finisher, which is an insane talent. So that's 35 critical hit chance and 40 critical hit damage for 15 seconds when you swap your weapon. You could definitely use whatever pistol of your choice here. You could use a Deagle for big damage. You could use, uh, uh, I don't have it here though, but uh, like the Moson Beak, right? The Tabred Basket. 
or X45, or whatever you guys want to use, right? But I, I choose to use Orbit. And then, and then as a secondary gun, you could use like a SMG. I choose Lady Death because it's a fun gun. Probably not the best to use her though, because you're not going to have this talent up. So use whatever SMG you want. But since if you get a kill with this, you're going to get crit chance and crit damage. So pretty good. Anyway, I think the pistol and the marksman rifle is the, the important thing here though. And classic M44, the white death would be the best for damage. However, I prefer model 700 because it's a bit faster ADS speed. So you can shoot a bit faster. And the one I have is pretty good. 10 damage to target out of cover, which is the one you want to have. If you can't get that, get damage to armor. But out of cover damage is the best. Then we have marksman rifle damage maxed. And pretty low headshot damage, but can't get everything. Perfect ranger. Pretty good talent for longer ranges though. Otherwise, you could go optimist, I guess. Or maybe even the talent that gives you 50 weapon damage when you get a kill. If you want to play close. But honestly, you shouldn't need that damage. So yeah, DH mask. We got one providence here. And as you can see, I don't use glass cannon. Because it's not needed. So I use unbreakable. Headshot damage. Critical hit damage, headshot damage. The, the main thing is headshot damage rolls and weapon damage. And I roll the backpack with marksman rifle damage as a brand set bonus. And headshot damage focus there too. With vigilance as well. And if we look at the other pieces, I guess, headshot damage, weapon damage, and it's just following the same formula. Some of my pieces, especially the glove, is not that good and needs improvement, but it's still doing the work. So I played this a little bit different before, and this will give you more damage than the DH, is if you use Fox Prayers. But I mean, it's pretty boring to use this, and the difference is not big at all, so... I definitely like the DH more because that way I can use the shield with the with a pistol, right? And it just makes close combat a bit easier. But gotta keep in mind though, since we have so many reds, the, the shield is gonna be pretty weak. But I'm pretty sure you can go at least one blue. And that would increase the shield health by 67%. So that's quite a big deal. 2.9 now, which is way lower in PvP, I guess. We could toggle that maybe. Can we toggle PvP stats? Can we? I don't think we can see it there though. No, we cannot. I don't play much shield, but yeah, it's way less than 3 million. So you could increase that with some blues. Gotta check whatever. You gotta check yourself how much you could do on your build. Because I at least want to hit like... I kind of want to hit around 2 million, even though that is a bit of overkill. So maybe like 1.5 would be enough for most players or 1.6. You gotta fill out what you feel yourself though. But there's no reason to go over 2 million in headshots. And most likely 1.5 would probably be the sweet spot. You would one shot like 90 or 95% of the people. I don't really play much PvP myself though. So yeah. The version I did without the punch strength would be Fox Prayers here. So, Fox Prayers with headshot damage, out of cover damage there. I would use an Ace Mask. Like that. And then, I actually did use RK here. To get more incoming repair. So, 15 plus 20 potential, I have 19. So, that would put you at 35% incoming repair. Which does increase your Unbreakable. Like, that was fine for me damage-wise. Like this. But definitely, after testing a bit with the DH Mask, I definitely feel like that's the way to go. Because having the shield there with the pistol, it just it's just really, really nice. And keep in mind, though, if you don't have a good provenance uh, chest, you could just use two piece of roll because that would give you the same headshot damage. And if you don't want to use the pistol like this, you could use uh, a, a roll here as well. Use two roll and uh, one provenance. But yeah, that covers most of it. Use the shield here. And then... I use a drone, but you can use whatever you feel like. And we use sharpshooter spec as well, which I kind of went through a little bit, I guess. Mainly because you get more headshot damage here. And that works insanely good with the three-piece aces because it's multiplicative. You also get this breath control as well. And yeah, if you like to use the scope, of course, you get the digital scope as well, which is amazing for PvP because you get... Headshot damage, but you lose crit damage. And crit damage for a one-shot sniper build in PvP doesn't matter. Because at least the way I play them, it's headshot based. 
we take a look at the stats, you can see headshot damage being 227. How? Okay. <laughs> uh, let's equip the right pieces here again. Uh, yeah. So 227 and we swap this piece. So now you will see how powerful the three piece aces are, right? Because this one has 7.1, so it's 0.3% difference in headshot damage. So we should only get 20, right? So we have 227 headshot damage. And look how strong the multiplicative is. 292. You see what I mean with the multiplicative headshot damage? Insanely strong. So here's the stats for this one right here. I know I forgot this. I know I forgot to do this uh, in yesterday's video when I made uh, the Nemesis PV builds. I thought I would show you guys that too. Well, we already had it. So let's see if I still have it saved. Yes, here. I think this is the one. No. Yeah. No, this is not the right one. We need to equip the Vigilance backpack right there. Take away this 9.7 mod. Put it on this one. Where is it? Right there. We're gonna hit the save button here. I think that should be correct right there. We can check the stats here. Swap to the Nemesis. So this is where the Nemesis build is at. 80 crit damage. 334 headshot damage. Could be a bit higher of course. If you watched yesterday's video. If you didn't watch uh, yesterday's video. Or it's gonna be two days ago when you watched this. I will put the link in the top comment and you could watch that PV build. I, it's a build you can hit fully buffed, probably around 50 mil. I personally only hit 37 because I'm too lazy in the shooting range and just didn't work and I didn't use all the buffs. In actual gameplay, I think I hit 31 million. That was barely with any buffs at all. But yeah, I think that covers everything. I might have missed something, then put it in the comment section and I will try to answer it in the comment section and heart that comment so you guys can see it so yeah hope you guys found this video useful and if you are interested in more division videos then make sure to hit that subscribe button see you guys in the next one all right so let's head in here to a conflict match i actually got a queue instantly so yeah <laughs> instantly going to game not warmed up or anything actually testing to record from my streaming pc now since i set that up <clears throat> holy shit it's wids Sub did. Yo. With the the pistol actually. Uh, I don't know why he was lagging so much. Uh, hello. Eh. Uh, I don't know about those. Probably gonna get killed from the side now. Yeah. I don't know. Like I hit what three headshots there. Uh, I can't focus that hard on like voiceover when people talk to me in game. <laughs> it's just a kind of loose focus. And I think I hit him twice. But he doesn't like, he doesn't get hit. I don't know. I think I had three bullets to the head that doesn't like connect. I will put this in the video so you will see. I don't know what's going on. It's like 100% headshot, but it just doesn't do damage to him. I really don't understand why I'm not dealing damage. Rogue stinger hive detected. Oh my god, fuck the mercy roll. So yeah, we queued another match here. First match was, yeah, they were just camping on one spot. I don't know, my co my shots didn't do damage. Even though the server didn't seem laggy, it was definitely something wrong. So let's see if we can get that. I want to show some uh, some of the pistol here with the shield. So let's just actually push with the shield here. So that's a pretty quick kill there. Actually, we're going to main... We're gonna are we gonna main the pistol? <laughs> of course you can use other pistols as well. I just use the orbit right now. Definitely not the best pistol though, but I mean the buff is really good. 
And you kind of want to swap to the shield whenever they get close, right? So let's just try to play a bit aggressive, I guess. <laughs> PvP is just... Uh, it's a boring to play against that. Use Negotiator. And I will just shoot their skill, dude. Two tap him to the face. No crit cider. I'm gonna die here. Actually, we swap to, to this one right now. And I'm fucking potatoing. But with the crit chance and crit damage we get though, actually decent right, damage right, with the... With this one though. It's just so boring to play against this uh, crowd control, dude. Or the skills, man. Yeah, it gets super trivial. I mean, it's fine. Like, I'm just trying to get some footage for PvP build, right? Like, I could swap yeah. to, like, cast the protection and shit, but obviously. Yeah. To show I'm this build, I gotta play so this build, right? I actually figured you were testing the reduced damage on the M1A. Nah, just the uh, one shot sniper build now. That's always fun. I should probably use that pulse that they are using. So he's down, we don't really care. We're gonna push this guy here. See if my reactions are any fast. And then bam, we swap the shield. We one bang him. I don't know, like, I think it's pretty decent. You swap back, you get the crit chance, crit damage, especially for, like, you can use uh, uh, the exotic gun right here. You, now you, like, have pretty decent damage with that, even. But it's good for when they come close. Ugh, two. I have to reload. Can I please not choke? And now we're gonna die to the bleed. Because <laughs> we don't have a hazard protection build because we're trying the sniper build. We're actually alive though. But yeah, I mean, I'm kind of digging this synergy though with these three guns actually. I could probably like afford to get one blue, maybe two even. I mean, I would have to min max the build a bit, look at the numbers. But this is probably the way I would like to play this one-shot sniper build. It gives you a lot, like SMG as well, right pistol, and I don't have damage for that. So keep in mind, like, I, I'm sharpshooter, but I only have damage to the sniper, not to the actual SMG or the pistol. Of course, I will die to this skill, sir. Agent, <laughs> it's PvP, you know, man. There's a reason I don't play this. I, I like doing the builds and all, but I don't enjoy PvPing in this game. Like, this is not fun. Of course, I could swap to another build and it would be a better result, right? But I'm here to, to show this build, basically. I don't expect the PvP to be good. I, I do kind of enjoy the, the way this build works, though. I kind of want to mark him because I'm so used to that. I'm gonna do a YOLO push here. Okay, he's dead. One. He was so low, so we didn't need to aim for headshot there. Oh, we missed that. We're probably gonna swap the shield here. Oh, unless I hit a headshot. We hit a headshot. Oh, well, now we have the 50 cal too. We missed that. And bam, like, yeah. I mean, I like it. I, I like this actually. GG, dude. I, I like this.
Yeah, take care. Keep up uh, the good work with the videos. Thank you, dude. You too. Let <laughs> <laughs> me take care, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Ciao. But yeah, I think that will be enough. I think this was a decent showcase for how this works. Actually, pretty nice. I gotta say, I, I like it. It's just like, uh, against skill builds, of course, it's gonna be pretty bad, but... Yeah, like having the one-shot sniper, whenever they get close, you could swap to the shield. Of course, you probably have to invest one or two blues to get the shield a bit stronger. Maybe even try to use like some gloves or whatever you can fit into it. Because all you have to do is like make sure you can do, I mean, sure, two million. That's kind of what, where you want to reach though. But you, you can get like, you can be fine with like doing 1.5 million to be honest against most players. But that's gonna conclude this video though. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. And if you are interested in more Division 2 videos, then make sure to hit the subscribe button. See you guys in the next one.